This episode of Vic's Basement is brought to you by Sony and the PlayStation 4, which comes out November 15th. Greatness awaits, and I can't wait for mine. <laughs> Welcome to my basement, everybody. Hello, Scott Jones. Oh, my God, Vic. Something smells really bad in the basement this week. I'm going to do the whole show with no, my sweater no, over on. my face. <sighs> you're just, it in. You're just used to it. I love it. You, lo- <laughs> you, don't even Fromage. Know, you don't even know when it smells down here anymore. You have Fromage to bring someone turd. from the outside in to <laughs> tell you. It's like sending a canary into a mine to make sure that the air is still breathable. I we don't need- care what it smells like in here. I'm excited about a whole bunch of things. Maybe it smells down here here because you have been down here a lot lately. I have lately. been down here a lot. Yeah, man. yeah. I've been well, down here. I've been hanging out with my buddy Batman. Yeah, this is a special day. And we have been punching the shit out of all kinds of bad guys. Warner Brothers Montreal has delivered a triple A game yes, that has have. the word Batman and yes. Origin in the same uh, title. Well, the review's going to air our first review because we're going to take a look at it again. Ben and Jose are doing a second Guess opinion. Guess what? 10. And it's got a 10 for me, and uh, uh, 9.5 I, I freaking love this thing. Uh, we're also going to do an in depth look at the uh, multiplayer as soon as all the servers and stuff go live, which will be tonight. Are you sure that there's multiplayer in this game? There is multiplayer. What, yes. what do you do in the multiplayer? Well, you can uh, join as uh, part of the factions. You've got the Bane faction or the Joker faction, and you can also play as Batman and Robin and team up and Sounds beat up all stupid. kinds. Come on, it's a, it's a multiplayer fighting game. Splash just damage is the team behind this leave thing. It'll, just leave it, leave I'm it so at a excited. single player experience. I, well, you're, I'm forcing you to play some multiplayer with me. We're going to have a blast. About 10 uh, minutes of But it. this game is a ridiculously cool. Yeah. Yes, it's the same. You know, That's like, the thing. Like, I don't think same. you get to keep making this game over. And this is three times they've made well, it Well, I've been thinking about this because the it's a story set in Gotham. It's not necessarily the Arkham thing as much as it's been in the past, but it's a story set in Gotham, old Gotham, uh, and it is the roots of the hero. And when we read Batman comics, they are stories that Batman has that are set in Gotham City, and he has to do much the same kinds of things. These stories and there's are been, very similar, though. And Well, it's been 80 years of stories in the Batman comics, 75 years of stories in the Batman comics, where you have seen the character do similar kinds of things there's routines there's patterns there's these are the identifiers that we get with this character and that's going to be true with these interactive takes on batman in this universe using these assets counterpoint yes video games are a, a medium that's dependent on technology sure you need them to constantly evolve it's not a page well there, a there is book. evolution here it's not it's not, not revolution but yeah, there's we evolution we haven't moved the needle since the first one no and i think that i probably give these guys a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because it's a whole new team taking over the mantle and that's really hard to do but what i love about but they this also game, get all the assets yes they get but all I, the work and the groundwork yes, that rock has I, already I, done i know and I, I totally concur with all that but what i love about this game is that they they made a very smart story with great characters, and my favorite part of this game is that he's a smart, thinking Batman, and he's 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 being a detective, and he's going through these crime scenes, and he's trying to unravel them. He's trying to unravel a mystery, uh, you know, a, a greater mystery about these different characters and these different, uh, you know, supervillain types that are all out to get him that he's meeting for the very first time. And I love that aspect of this game. Now, I know it's impossible for you to be objective whenever Batman's involved. Oh, Except I, for the Dark Knight. What was the last one called? The Dark Knight uh, Rises. No, I mean, I, if it was a crap Batman experience, no, 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 listen, I, wouldn't, the, I wouldn't love it. But what, what I'm saying is the sense of deja vu is stronger with this one than okay. it has been before. All right? But, like but a listen, lot of it feels like I've, stuff that I've done before, experiences that I've had before, bosses that I've kind of fought before in not dissimilar we, ways. We've got three amazing Batman games in 75 years. Right. I can deal with a little repetition. Well, you can. I can deal with it. But, I've put up with but regular decades of non Batman of, fans, of writers and artists trying to emulate what Neil Adams or Marshall Rogers or some of these you know amazing creators have been already imbued with this character that I've known and loved for generations now, and they've tried to emulate or recapture. They've tried to you know Frank Millerize. They've tried to do a whole bunch of things, and I've still enjoyed the progression. I've still enjoyed these little kind of brush ticks and these little uh, strokes, these little new touches that everybody brings. I mean, Scott Snyder's Court of Owls whole story is fantastic in the New 52, and I 
I feel that this is what's happening with the games. Yes, it's not like let's start over and now Batman's purple and green and and uh, uh, he doesn't know how to fight. He's a slippery Batman. I mean, it's like no, let's lift off of what has been working and been very cool and well defined and Kevin Conroy ish and and Mark Hamill ish with the voices and let's let's not just completely change course. Let's add nuance. Let's add some more color. Let's add a little bit more flavor and not fix what ain't broke. Three out of 75 years, dude. And there's been a lot of Batman games. You can't say 75 years, 50 years, really. Well, 30 years, probably, of of Batman video games. But again, counterpoint, because that's my role on the show. You can't keep repainting the Mona Lisa. No, and now it's up to Rocksteady and Warner Brothers uh, Montreal. It's time to move the needle again. Yeah, it is. I'm ready. And while the new machines are here, I I, I, I say this on the review tonight, but the Arkham games are the best series in the current generation. They're the most satisfying. They're the most fulfilling. For you. For me, yeah. Yeah. In terms of, uh, you know, one, two, and three, uh, phenomenal. I think the, the next closest game that that delivers uh, at that level is mass effect and then probably uncharted and and the assassin's creed games after that but the uh this is phenomenal and the fact that it's a licensed game and that they could have half-assed it and they could have just you know rested on the laurels of our love for batman they they didn't they never do you always feel like the character it's so maturely created and crafted with so much love as well. It's another beautiful knockout game, man. I love it. It I, is. I, I, and if, I if guess you're, if you're going to pour the sugar on that, if we're going to do the review, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing the review here. Well, I, I, you know, and I guess that if you don't love Batman, like I love Batman, you're going to, you're going to be able to tear it apart a little. No, more. no, no. There's no tearing it apart. There's just quibbles. There's a couple sure. of quibbles. There's some I mean, the problems. Mad Hatter isn't as good as the Scarecrow. I will give you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. I'm, yeah. I'm t- anyway, I don't want to do the review here. You can watch the review tonight. Okay. This is the thing. I think this is an excellent game. I gave it a 9.5. Yes. I'm just playing devil's advocate No, here. I know. There's things that we can find flaws with for sure. But the industry... That's what my job is. Totally. That's what it says on yeah, my and, business card. And we discuss it. Flaw but, finder. Uh, Scott Jones. But the industry needs games of this caliber, and the the comics industry does, the superhero sure. world it's, does. I'm, you know who I'm happy most for? Me. Eric Holmes. Oh, okay. No, and then you. <laughs> and then Ben Mattis. No, you're number one. Of course I'm happy. When I'm playing this game, of course I can I can feel you smiling across town, because oh, I know you're playing it too. These cutscenes. I mean, his, his first fight with... Uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm yeah. not going to spoil anything. Why not? But the cutscenes are just ridiculous. I, I, God, it's just beautiful. I just love this game. It's I little, love it. It's, it's a little quick timey. I love sinking so into this world. quick timey. Okay, let's stop talking about Batman. But Press we do, A and you will win. We do have more Batman goodness coming. Press A and the Joker will our, lose. Our respective shows, so keep paying attention. You must press A, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't pull out silly Bane voice. The other thing that uh, was uh, I was excited about and happy to see that happened this week was the uh, iPad announcements. I know that they... Why are you happy about this? Well, Why does this make you happy? I like... I'm, I love the Mini. I love the, I love I the like, device. I like the Mini. I love the it, Mini. It, it, it's and if there's been one problem with it that I, you know, I have uh, talked about, it's the resolution on the screen right, isn't as course, good as yes. it could be. But the thing that I really wanted to happen with the Mini is happening, and that's that the A7 chip is going to be a part of this, the 64-bit processor. I don't know what you're talking well, about it's now. the same chip that's Speak in the English. iPhone 5S. Now, the one thing that they excluded is that they're not going to put the, um, the touch, the thumb... Um, uh, touch ID Who sensor on Who gives a there. shit? Who wants that thing? Well, I, it's great to not have to remember oh, passwords. Geez. Well, you don't have to use a password. Just just hang out of your phone. That's all. Yeah. but It's simple. I, okay. But it, it would be great to just be able to touch the thing. But 64-bit processor with the Retina display and an iPad mini frame. It's too expensive, but I am so psyched for this machine. It's going to be... Are you really? The best iPad of the... Or the it's, best it's tablet the of the greatest iPad year. until the next iPad comes Not the out. best value, though. The but Nexus listen, 7 is still the best value, for listen, sure. Listen, this is the problem, though, because yeah. it's what I'm it's doing today. I'm finding all kinds of problems. Stacks of tablets? It's, well, we got, I'm building well, a house an of avalanche tablets. Of ta- yeah, you already have like six in your bag <laughs> right now. I don't, you don't fucking need six. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a house of tablets, smartphones, and phablets. Listen. Yes. I still don't understand what Apple's doing, though. It doesn't feel risky at all, does it? Nothing. It doesn't yeah, anymore. Yeah. You know, they, they fly everybody out to San Francisco. All our friends at, at the websites and CNET and all these guys, they go out there and yeah. then they find out that, you know, uh, this is the news. Well, I, I don't feel great. I mean, I guess we're talking about it, but I don't feel great for the people that that's all they get to talk about. Because I think that the tech industry, 
it needs to inspire us every time. But it, it felt like when the iPhone came along, yeah. that we we were we were getting somewhere. Something new and exciting was happening. There was there was a, there, there was a revolution going on. Yeah. And now it just feels like we're just kind of going sideways, and we're taking these little steps forward. And they're holding all these press conferences, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of hammer and tongs. There's a lot of uh, a lot of noise and smoke, but it doesn't feel like. It is the thing that is, you have to pay attention is to. Is there something that... You can ignore this stuff. It's starting to feel like white noise. Yeah, it's easy bit. to tune I it out. I see that, yeah, And I, sure. I, I, I will you know, I, I'm... I, you know, I, I, I want there to be more exciting things happening. Instead, well, we've gotten in this cycle where it's where it's these tiny little iterations that keep moving it forward. I'm I, excited about this iPad mini, but there was... I am, because it's a powerful know, machine, and now it's going to be an incredible game machine. But where was the announcement of the iOS 7 controller compatibility? Where's anything? Where's, the, where's 900 yeah. things that Apple's not well, announcing? Well, this is what I'm curious with you. I don't know what they're doing. What... What are you missing in the tech space? Like, what what kind of evolution is it? Wearable computer tech, like the Google goggles or the uh, uh, or the Google glasses Google or Google goggles. Or glass. was, they must have talked about naming them the Google <laughs> goggles at some point. I think Google is an app that they have where you look through the phone and it tells you what's going on. But the, the you know the, the the Galaxy Gear and the Apple iWatch that's rumored. Like, what what tech? Yeah, discovery or invention well me? i'm just curious what you i want a robot friend a robot that yeah. i can have sex a with okay <laughs> that will help me choose choose of course clothing. you wanted a sex bot that would make turkey sandwiches we, we need the i sex bot no i dude it's it's like when we were talking about the <laughs> this is, welcome to the butt dude section of the program. <laughs> we forgot to thank our sponsor at the top of the show. It's in the it's embedded in the show already. Oh, is it? Yeah, but okay. thank you very much, Sony. We love you. We love the uh, the fact that you're supporting Vic Spaceman. And remember, the PlayStation Four comes out on November fifteenth. Can no, we listen? This is what when we were talking about the new Xbox, the Xbox One before yeah. all the specs were released and yes. everything. All I kept thinking about was the bubble ship from Oblivion that Tom Cruise yeah, keeps our driving bubble around. Ship, right? In. Yeah. Well, I mean that's the kind of thing like. You're well, you want to talk about it's got the it's got a bigger hard drive and it plays Blu-rays and it's got Connect and I'm thinking, unless it's that bubble ship, I really don't want to know about it. Yeah. Like it doesn't like again, it just I'm ready for the revolution to happen. Maybe because I'm getting on in years, I'm getting old and long in the tooth. I'm ready for something really to shake me up and scare me a little bit. In technology, I, I, yeah, I want to see some breakthroughs and I don't feel like we've really seen much you think on that front. It's since, a TV. Like the Apple TV that they no, keep talking like, about. I don't. Well, how is that going to change my life in some tangible way? How is that going to make things easier for me? I mean, the what thing, if we got like the Total Recall like wall screen? Yeah, would I, that I be mean, amazing? I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I, I guess, but that still feels inaccessible. It feels like it's too far out there. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I. I I don't know. I want to see something. You know, again, I always go back to Peter Molyneux's press conference at E3, I don't know, in 2010, yeah. when he was talking about Milo and the Connect, And, like, that was the last time I was really – and I was duped. You know, it was yeah. like – it was just – it was like – that, that was a hoax. But <laughs> That's it was like awesome. That's like the, uh, the Nixon years for political pundits. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like, of. oh, I don't believe any politicians anymore. Yeah. So, uh, I don't so know. So nothing. You know, what I, I, you know what? I have my iPad mini. I go to bed. I watch my Netflix every night. I get my Cheers episode in. I get in the bath with my Chablis. And, uh, and then and, you're ready to doze. And I'm happy. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't even necessarily need a better... Well, now you're going to be able better... to watch it in, uh, like, super high resolution yeah, with never like, display. I'm never like, ooh, this image looks terrible You'll be able to look Netflix. at Sam's amazing toupee with a beautiful screen. <sighs> what, what I want, you know, apart from all of this stuff, is something a little bit more practical, which doesn't sound like me, but it, it's time for us said, not... Said the man with six tablets well, in now, his bag. But it's time to not think about cases and water resistancy with these things. It's time for these things to be a little more durable than they are. It really drives me crazy it's to see amazing, people... It's not amazing, though. Like, let's, no, let's I, I know. Amazing. It's Give not amazing. amazing. Give me amazing. I'm talking practical, because everybody has got one of these these smart devices now that you can touch the screen and you can you can hover over stuff and well, you can you can look at your second brain and carry it around with your pocket you're worried that they're not durable but they're they not are, they are pretty durable how many people do you see that pull out their iphone or their their galaxy whatever and they're crack they have cracked screens and they're i mean how many people are watching or listening to this right now on a device not with a cracked many. screen i, mean, I, I, I see I, it I everywhere when you see it it stands it, it shocks horrifies me. you it does it shocks me yeah, because, because people spend a lot of money for these damn things and how can one of these tech companies just sit back and idly say oh you just need a case for that 
people spend I a fortune. I, I, I mean, remember our first sort I, of Nokia cell phones that looked like chocolate bars back in the, uh, uh, you know, the the early 2000s and the, in the late 90s and stuff. They were they were fairly bulky at first, and then they got smaller and smaller and yes. pocket sized. Those things were durable. I remember I I dropped one, uh, an early Sony Ericsson uh, cell phone, just a regular cell phone that I used to play Snake on. Um, and I dropped it, and I kicked it across the street. And I watched my phone go all the way across the street and hit the curb and, and uh, you know, break apart, and the battery went flying and everything. I walked over. It had a couple of little scratches on Wait it. Wait a second. And this, I, is, this is turning into a rant. Yeah, but I put it all together, and it was totally Keep going. fine. Keep you know? going. And I, it's like, come Let on. Let it out. I Why the hell do we have these really expensive portable computers that are so fragile, and they're in everyday use? And now we're supposed to be wearing watches like this Galaxy Gear. I'm, st- I'm still wearing it. I'm still trying to see how it integrates into my life if I start to dig some of the functionality and the uses of it. picking up so many it. women with that Galaxy Yeah, gear. people love the look of it. Not. But uh, I... I, it's not water resistant. So I know that if I ever wash my hands and keep it under the water for too long, it's going to fry it. And what the hell kind of decision is that? I, I think you are a particular case. Yes. I think you, you are, you have a lot of uh, beautiful things about you, but you're also overly concerned about the condition of your electronics. Well, I don't like sometimes. spending money and then watching them. I, I still have, I still have my Vectrex like, that I, I bought in I 19, talk, in the, in the eighties. Can I talk and about it's in good condition? Can I talk about the sheet of protective plastic that you use over your, I, your iPhone keyboard, yeah, none, well, your, your, your or iPad. my iPad, my, what are those my, things? My iMac. MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro, yeah, yeah. He has a sheet of plastic that whenever he closes the screen, so the screen and the keys, which wouldn't touch anyway, no, they do touch and they leave marks, especially when they, you've got them in uh, your laptop in a bag. But and, and when they, have you ever put your laptop in a bag? Well, I don't right now because I've got the iPads and stuff with me, but and that's kind of a cool thing. But so I yeah. was shocked the first time I came over to your house and you gently well, laid this I'll piece, t- this tissue paper Apple over ships your keyboard, those things with and then slowly that tissue paper very, like these for things, a reason. But these are supposed to be used. Though. I know. Just use them. Who yeah, cares I, if the screen I, gets I, I a hate little mark on at it? My screen with all kinds of smudges and and right, gunk to, and stuff on there. Who's with me? Anybody out there? It's, Comment if you think that's crazy hear, to watch I hear this stuff. Crickets. Okay. <laughs> no, the thing is, it's, it's it's like as these things get more sophisticated. Look, I was broke as a kid. I was trying to say. Well, so was I. I was broke. We were we were, I, we I were had sharecroppers. To, I, I had to go. I had a paper route. I had to go and buy yeah. everything. And I, had, I, it you know, it took me it took me a long time to save up for these. Our things. cotton field got ravaged by boll weevils. <laughs> and I learned to just protect my stuff. All my comics all right, are still in plastic have, listen, bags. It's not, it's not an all attack. my old toys. It's are not still an in attack boxes. on your character. I'm shining a spot. Spotlight on something about you it's, that I find fascinating. It's my foible. <laughs> I, I'm a little weird about it, and I have to. I, I do have to kind of uh, right, relax a listen, bit because I have a, I have a, is, a young daughter running around, and she wants to touch all of my all stuff. And things, yeah. I know it's going to give me a heart attack. Listen, this is a safe space for yes. us down here. We're safe down here. Okay. Well, I'm not your enemy. I know. I know. It's listen, just like making fun of me. But but but, uh, but as these things get more and more sophisticated, yeah, they're going to get more and more fragile. Yes. And I don't know how how to protect them. No, they they shouldn't be more fragile. That's what I'm why, saying. Why though? Why they should be they? more durable. They keep adding and, new things. To a and, no, and that should be part of what they message. You know, when Apple comes out with the iPhone 6, they should say, and guess what? No need for cases. Yeah. And drop it on Here's something Tim and then throw Cook a hammer on it. And dropping say, it from a height. Like, yes. It's just like that old commercial for the like, suitcase with the how monkey. Many, how many, like that would get bring people to a standing ovation. That'd be like, oh my God, that's awesome. I don't mostly to, be you. Well, I'd be, yeah, I'd, be at, I'd be at home watching the net stream. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! I love Woo! you, Tim. I love, love you. you. <laughs> Finally. All right. Okay. Enough Jesus. About that. Enough about that. All Something right. else cool has happened. I've been holding on to it this whole yeah, podcast so here far. In your lap. I've got the hiding uh, your erection. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's covering me. <laughs> your flag. Your black flag. My, fla- my black there. flag it's collector's flying. edition. Yeah. I'm going to open it up. We're going to do a live. Uh, audio only unboxing. <laughs> I love these. We did one for Bioshock Infinite, and now oh, oh yes. Oh my God, what is that? This is uh, Connor. The, is that the name of the the pirate guy? I forget Shit, the the I name for everybody here. I think uh, no, no. Connor was the last guy. Uh, this guy's na- oh, I know. I remember this guy's name's Fudgy. It's no, he's not Fudgy. Oh man, I should know this, but it's not. A, I haven't played the, the game box. yet, so it's not on my. Yeah, I'll take the box and read it. Okay. You take that out. What is that? Okay, you read it. Okay, so we get the the uh, the cool statue of the main character and I apologize I don't I don't know his, his name. His name is Captain Edward Kenway. Oh, he's Kenway, right, right. He is the um, ancestor of Connor. 
Here's what it says on here. If you ma- if you cut this out yeah. and you mail this in, yeah. you get an in- inflatable doll that you can uh, take to bed with you at night. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I so, see that you grab that box right away I'm to gonna do that. I'm going to clip that and get that right in the mail. Okay, we have and 60. She has, an, she has an eye patch on, so it's right in theme with the, the Oh, game. okay. All right. 16 layers of uh, plastic on this as yeah. required. You need a um, hand there? Yeah, they come oh. with a little raft. Are you unhappy that we're doing this right now? Because you probably want to do it in private, right? No, this is great. I, I'm, I'm enjoying this this whole process. Thanks for joining me on this audio-only unboxing. Mm-hmm. It's the, uh, well, so l- let's tell people what Captain you're doing right Ed- now. Edward, you're, I'm taking off the some of the... Twist ties. Uh, are, there's, there's lots of twist ties in there. Here, let me take this. Help me. Yeah, okay. It's a big package here. Um, oh, wow. I didn't, didn't, all right, we sorry. get the black flag, the uh, okay. Assassin's Creed Pirates go? flag. That goes into the raft part, which is the... The stand for the statue. Is this part separated now? Or is I, it still I, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, there's still one twist tie. That's off. Okay. Got it's it. almost assembled. Uh, you put the character together, and you got this cool thing that'll stand on your bookshelf. No, that's not. That doesn't go on there. your computer. Does that go there? Kind of. Okay. So, I'm a fan. That looks awesome. Okay. That looks awesome. I, I I haven't really jumped into the game yet, so I can't tell you if I love this character or not yet. But uh, I like this. Collectible. Okay. Very much. Sweet. So now I've got a cool black flag. Yep. Standy thing like that. Look okay. That. Now what's in the box? That looks That's awesome. Beautiful. You want to hold that? You want me to hold that and you can keep going? Yeah. Okay. He's no, got all kinds wait. of weapons in I'll there. I'll work on this. All right. See if you can okay. assemble the rest of that. There's all kinds of weapons in there. Oh, sweet. You actually get a physical cloth black flag. Mm, that'll look great over your lamp as you're smoking your doobies. <laughs> <laughs> This this will go this is, this is, right in my dorm room. Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's cool. That's a massive black flag. So what kind of material is that? It's like a tent like material, nylon. Yeah, it's like a nylon black flag. So you can hang you, this outside of your house, and uh, you, yeah. no one, no Jehovah's Witness would ever come and knock on your door again. Uh, you get the metal case What's for, that for the game. Is the game in there? The game is in here. The actual game is in here, and then you've got. Take uh, it out. The soundtrack, awesome. awesome. They always have great music in these yeah. games. F- terrific. And then you get all kinds of uh, collectible mm-hmm. edition. Yep, you got one of those. And oh, and and you get the uh, the PS4 version of Black Flag for ten bucks. Oh. With this. Okay, so this is okay. This is the old version. Right? That's cool. So th- this this is uh, both versions of the game. That's great. Great. Um, and you then have, you get you the have to pay uh, ten bucks to get it. Is that what that says? Well, it says ten ten dollars are free oh, it says in $10 here. Ten dollars off, maybe. Get the PS4 digital version of Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag Black Flag for ten bucks. What I don't, I don't so understand. So I have what's the he, PS3. What's he doing here? Is he like a jig? Kind of. A, he looks like. Yeah, he's he's, he's uh, lifting one leg. He looks like he's, he's very happy. Something happened. He looks like he is farting. Well, I mean, he looks like he's he's having like, like one of the uh, the way his cape is billowing. Well, in it's the like back. one of the um, uh, the animation cycles from the end of a level in Rayman Legends. Right now is what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like a fart to me. No, he's not farting. He's super happy. He's letting a big pirate fart out. And then we get the Assassin's Creed Black Flag art book, I think, is what we have. Yeah. Oh, I love art books. With all Ooh. kinds of concept That'll art. That'll be great for you to look at on the can. Look at this. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. I want to come over to your house this weekend look at all your art books. I know you do. Look at this. Another that's, one. That's the great thing about our uh, review partnership. He doesn't mind that I get all the collector's editions. No, you can keep them. Which is wicked. So you can take a look at that. What? I don't want to look at the art book. And you can look at my steel case. I can't even case, touch this. Assassin's Creed. This is like this holy is a, water on a vampire. This is a nice package. This is a nice kit. And, you know, like, I think uh, Ubisoft has done a great job with the, right. with the Assassin's Creed no, collector's you did, editions. You did a great job unboxing it. I'm yeah. going to give your unboxing job a 10 out of 10. Oh, thanks, what, what would you give the collector's edition so far without having played the game? Uh... Good I'd say, edition. yeah, it's pretty cool. I Who love figures, it? man. I, I, You know, we had uh, the Triforce guys on, and I think this is one of the coolest things oh. about what's going on with you games You know who right had now. a nice figure? Ethel Merman. Ethel. <laughs> it's a beautiful figure. Talking about a different kind of figure. Oh. I like the uh, these physical, collectible, uh, you know, caricatures I, I of these figures. Right, I think well, this is awesome. What is that now? I, so some, I give it an eight and a half. Without having decals? played the game, if I love this guy. Eight and a half, that's it? What else could they have done? What else would you well, want? I, I got to tell you this. Come on, nine. I, no, I, I, because I'm a Hot Toys snob now, right? That, oh, those are the Jesus. figures that I, they're way too expensive. How but are I, friends? But I like 
how are we friends? But I like the uh, I like action figures more than statues. All right. Well, so I, I, I like posable difference? figures. They're all the same. Well, I like the Nathan Drake figure, although it's not the best looking Drake. Actually, no. Was it a statue that they had with that? Yeah, it was because I bought the Square Enix uh, Drake figure. I like I like posable figures because mm-hmm. I you know the uh, the uh, the jig. Uh, pose know. that he's in right now. The farting. It looks pretty happy. On the deck of the it's, ship. It's a good animated pose right there, but I would prefer to be able to pose him myself. Wouldn't you, wouldn't, he should be doing something more awesome than this, though. Like, he does look like somebody has a fiddle he just should, over off, he off he to the side. He should be stabbing two dudes. Yeah. Like, with yeah. one sword strike going through, and then there's uh, a on. bunch of fruit on the end of the sword. I like that. Right? Like, I like the that. Raiders of the Lost Ark thing. Or how about if he was doing like this? <gasps> You can't see Scott right now. He looks like he should be at Venice Beach. Yeah, what if he was doing that? No, it'd be stupid. All right. Yeah. No, so, it's good. Good job. Thank uh, you, Ubisoft. So what other uh, collector's editions are we looking forward to at this point? Uh, Batman. That's what I'm looking are forward to. Are we going to do a live unboxing? I hope so. A live yeah, to we, did, we haven't received one okay. of those. We just got the regular uh, uh, the, the store copies of the game. But uh, yeah, I totally want that Joker statue. Well, that, listen, that uh, guys did. Uh, next week yeah. is Halloween week. Yes. Um, reviews on the run. If you're a fan of the show, you're going to want to tune in for that. We actually went to uh, a location. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought, don't reveal. Well, why not? Don't reveal. Why? Okay, go ahead. We went to a pumpkin patch. Yeah, it was good. It was totally fun. <laughs> we changed into our suits in what was not a very nice and clean uh, bathroom. It looked like some people had been in there before us, and things had happened. And so I was. Well, the, the, the bathroom sign had enter at your own risk. All over the place. <laughs> there was a big spider on the ceiling too. Did you notice that? No. You don't know. Oh, because your house is all spiders. Yeah, there's Especially spiders in our neighborhood. This time of year, you know, it's got to be. Spidery. There are spiders. Apparently, within three feet of us at all times. There's one spider within three feet of us right now. I think it's Josh. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Josh has one in his pants. Uh, so, so, I mean, that's a lot to be excited about. What else is happening? Oh, we saw Ender's Game. We're going to be talking about that next we week. We are. We are. It's, it's, uh, but it's Halloween week next week. Yes. And uh, we're going to be celebrating some spooky entertainment. So yep. we are going to be in a pumpkin patch wearing our suits. So you're going to want to tune in for that. Yep. Sorry for spoiling that. Yeah. Uh, why? Are you mad that no, I spoiled it? No, it's okay. It? I mean, why? People, should, people are going to be excited yeah, to see it people should look now. forward to yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, We've never done anything like this on the show, which is pretty cool. After thousands of episodes to do something like that. Pretty, but I know that uh, you, the reason why we were there is because you went there with your daughter the yeah. previous weekend yeah. and your lovely wife. Yep. And you guys picked out a pumpkin. Yep. And it was the first time. And you, we actually saw the dancing pumpkin and the dancing ear of corn. Yeah. They were both dancing like mad yesterday yeah. at the pumpkin patch. They, and Ruby loved all Ruby of that loved stuff. It, and she loved all the music and this everything. This is going to be her first real awareness of what Halloween is. This is her yeah. second one, but this is the, like, we're dressing her up and she's going to go out trick-or-treating. And she, she going to be as a spoiler? She, she's going to be a lion. Okay. Well, did all she right. pick that or did you guys pick it? Uh, I think my wife and, and Ruby picked okay. it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, she's pretty happy. Uh, so you guys did a, a pumpkin carving. Yeah. And what did you carve the pumpkin as, Luigi or Mario? Uh, <laughs> just a generic jack-o'-lantern guy. Okay. S- Samus Aran. Yeah, just the Samus Aran pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so talented with the jack-o'-lantern carving. <laughs> So uh, you're gonna so you're gonna go door to door, and you guys are gonna give out candy if I come to your house. You, do you, yeah, okay. absolutely. I think okay. I might dress as Indiana Jones this year. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're gonna take your lion out? Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a. Uh, this is a crazy time, man. We're on the edge of these machines coming, and all of these games are starting to hit. Like, we got Assassin's Creed 4 and Lego Marvel, and, that, and reviews of that stuff is coming up very soon. We've got all the portable games. I, I, I'm feeling flooded already, and the, the next-gen stuff hasn't arrived yet. Uh, it feels busy, don't you think? All I feel like doing is going, is going back to Batman. Yes. That's all I feel like doing. And, that happens and I, every time a Batman every, game comes out. Every like every day I come into the office and you know poor, poor us, but we're, we get some new reason why I can't go back to Batman. It's like oh, and even today with Assassins, it's like I'm curious about Assassins, but I still just want to go back to Batman. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. Yeah, uh, uh, I, Assassins feels too big and unmanageable. Even yeah. though I haven't looked at one second of the game. Except for that, our, our ill-fated visit to Ubisoft Montreal, it just feel like I'm overwhelmed. Like I gotta get in a ship, and then I gotta go to a village, and I gotta do this, and I'm just like, can't I just fly it's... around Gotham and beat up random guys and press the Y button every now and then and do some cool moves like that? It just feels like that fits 
more uh, easily into my lifestyle. Right well, here's now. here's my thought about what uh, the guys have been working on with Assassin's Creed 4 is that they were very aware that there was a lot of anger and, and disappointment with Assassin's Creed 3, even though that was a spectacular the game. The only does everything. Yeah, I mean, it, there's it a was, wood carving mini game in there. There was so much Pinochle. stuff. I know. Yeah. And it was, it was uh, intimidating and it was a little broken, but it was still wonderful in so many ways. But they, they do feel that there there was a jumping of the shark kind of at, you know attitude around that game and that's what they want to steer everybody back to with Assassin's Creed 4 is that look we have really fixed all of the things that you've been worried well, about it, it's the two refrigerator thing that yeah. I've talked about that before where if you buy a house and it has two refrigerators in it you're probably not going to throw out the second refrigerator you're just going to use that one for your salami and your beer yeah uh, and it's the same thing with game design sometimes like if you build something well it might not be great but we already built it so let's leave it in the game and that kind of feels like that was the MO for for the last Assassin's Creed game and that's the argument for having editors who can step in like a you know in the same way that books have editors and TV shows and movies have editors like this is in and this is out and this is the reason why right. we need people to be selective about these things because we don't have infinite amounts of time we do have lots to do lots of wonderful things on TV lots of great movies to see yeah. uh, and so hopefully this will be a more spare more purposeful Assassin. That's my hope going into the new Assassin's Creed. That yeah. it's going to just that we'll dive into gonna, the fun a lot quicker, and everything is going to feel meaningful. Yeah, it's yeah. not going to take you six hours. Yeah. I remember still getting that text from you last year, like I am finally the guy. Yeah, you know, after six <laughs> hours, you finally have the cowl and you're him, and it's just like what a prelude for a video game. Like, <laughs> come on, like let's that's get so cooking. Pretentious, isn't it? I mean, it's really one hour. It's that's too all you much. get for your prelude. It's too much. Yeah. Well, you know, Watch Dogs has been pushed back, so this is an incredible incredibly important release for Ubisoft this quarter. Um, it's on every platform, so I think it's going to do very well. I can't wait to see what it, what it looks like on the PS4. Uh, I mean, we've had little taste of it so far, but I can't wait to sit at home. Probably going to look a lot like the PS3. Well, I mean, it is going to be an up res version of what the PS3 is, but with way more detail and cooler weather effects. And I'm, I'm psyched for the horsepower of these things. I'm psyched for the you know, flushing of the details. When we're playing Batman, I can't help but think 60 frames a second at 4K resolution. I mean, I can't wait for what Gotham looks like in next gen, whether that means you on... You always want more. You're I do, never man. satisfied. That's like, honestly, that's... Just be, just take I'm a moment. I'm a gamer. Take a I'm moment. I'm into this crap. And be grateful for oh, what I we am. have. I'm, I'm always grateful. But, but then I you're always... like in the next breath, but the PS4 version! <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. No, I, I am always excited. So we do have new machines. And what are we going to do about these new machines? How are we going to do oh, this? Oh, I'm bugging the hell out of these companies to get it to us as quickly as possible so we can get you guys some reviews on the shows and we can talk about them everywhere on, on EP Radio, so on let's the, just go on, on the podcast right now and say yeah. we don't have a we don't PlayStation. Ha- we 4. don't have a PlayStation. We don't 4 have or an Xbox, Xbox One. One. We don't no. have either one of those machines. Nope. Uh, do you know anybody of, who has them? As of uh, developers, I as know of have today them. we do not. Maybe tomorrow they arrive. I mean, this is the thing. Every time these consoles launch, it is a little chicken and egg game about uh, you know when these these uh, PR folks are ready to send this stuff out. And they do well, have allocations and they do have a lot of people bugging them for, and you know, we're, we're not- a nationally televised TV Yeah, but show. we're not NBA stars or Ellen Page. So. <laughs> but we, we, uh, <laughs> we, ha- we have found out through our Nielsen ratings that we have uh, about a million viewers every time the show airs. Every week yeah, every in week. Uh, in the US, which yeah, is amazing. That's amazing. I'm I know. so proud of you, buddy. Well, us, man. Yeah, well, we make some good stuff. You, you know? you, this was started, I, I just got on the train once it was in motion. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all. So uh, so Halloween's coming. New consoles are coming. Great games are coming our way. I yep. don't know. You know, this is that time of year when you're just kind of swapping out pots of coffee and you're staying up and you're it's, getting as much done. This is the first time you're going to go through new console releases, two new console releases in the span of a week. And you got a daughter and you got a family and you got a company to run. How are you going to do that? This is what I live for, man. This is it. I mean, this is. Uh, Are you gonna sleep? This is a full life right here. You you know? Know? No, I'm sleeping. so excited. Yeah, I'm excited about all of this stuff happening all at the same time. You know, like uh, there's a lot of unbelievable creativity firing on a lot of different cylinders. Not to mention all of the indie stuff that's coming out that we're still talking about and still excited about. A lot of these. Uh, you know, Kickstarters keep getting funded, and and some of these titles are starting to arrive as well. And it's uh, it's a really obnoxiously crazy time in entertainment, in sort of the geek space, the entertainment space, the technology space. But God, if there isn't a million things to be excited about and to talk about, I mean, the Captain America Winter Soldier 
trailer just hit as just like minutes before we started recording this and that looks phenomenal comes out next april i know that means nothing to you but winter soldier is an awesome character I just, I just, and robert redford is in this one i can't wait for this i movie. just wait for it to be over <laughs> when you go on these digressions no uh, so uh uh so yeah uh yeah there's something else i wanted to ask you but i'll be damned if i can remember what it was so the counselor opens this weekend oh yeah go see it or don't go see it Victor i Lucas. think go see it it's it's uh, it's a smart movie. It's the smartest movie in your movie theater right now. Until but it's it's a it's a pretentious movie. Until and it's a little Ender's obnoxious. Game opens next Friday, yeah. and then the smarter movie will be. At I the can't movie wait theaters. to talk about Ender's Game. But uh, the um, I like the counselor. We I liked did, it as yeah. well. Yeah, it's a, it's a verbose movie. We, we saw that two revels. movies this week, and we we liked both of them. How yeah. when does that ever happen? I know it's very rare. But uh, yeah, I'd say go see the counselor table some of your you know or, or temper some of your expectations for it it's not a traditional right. ridley scott go in film. with high expectations i think you'll be fine i, I you know we see so much stuff that's yeah. so terrible yeah and you can it is feel, nice to shift you, into a different kind of you know like even gravity and we didn't see the captain phillips movie but i've heard nothing but fantastic things about i know that. but usually we see these things and i'm just waiting for it to just devolve into nonsense and, yeah. and it being in the hands of, of a skilled filmmaker like ridley scott you yeah. just you i could relax last night when we saw this thing Thing and and just feel like this is we're going somewhere and there's there's meaning here yeah. and it's and there's, there's a lot of people working and people acting their asses off and there's writers writing their asses off a lot being said in this movie uh, and lots it's, of it's very long everybody. monologues you know lots of they didn't feel wave. long though I, no I but it. I I think it's a wordy film it's a self conscious movie yeah for sure but it was I, I, it, it is definitely worth seeing for sure. You know, that's going to wrap it up for this episode, though. We got to thank our sponsor, Sony, and the PlayStation 4, which comes out November 15th. We had uh, a ton to talk about this week, but wait till you find out what we're talking about next and week. And also, Sony, if you have any PlayStation yes, 4s, please send us the PlayStation our address 4. is 305 no, 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 611. We're just okay. off exit 12 <laughs> up by the airport. Come see us. Thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.